I'm really suggesting that knowledge can set you free. All right, we've got probably time for the two hands I just saw. So we'll start with you right here, and then we'll go to the lady for the last question. Make them quick. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do this quick. Uh, thank you, Dr. Jones, for being here. Uh, my name is Dan Oppenheimer. I work for the Hogg Foundation for Mental Health in Austin, Texas. I, I kind of wanted to ask you a favor, um, which is uh, my wife I don't, and I, I don't have it, my I don't have any money in my pocket. <laughs> Uh, my wife and I are involved in an effort in Austin to change the name of our kids' school, elementary school, which is Robert E. Lee Elementary. Um, Hello. And I think it might actually make a difference in our effort to exercise power if you could, I mean, if, if you felt comfortable from the stage saying something to that, because my ears perked up when you talked about the Confederate flag. Uh, so if you have anything to say about Robert E. Lee Elementary School in Austin, Texas. <laughs> Okay. What you got to say, Dr. Jones? <laughs> what I've said, if Robert E. Lee uh, is the Robert E. Lee I believe you're talking about, <laughs> and if he was a general of the Confederate Army, That's the one. is that the one? <laughs> well, I think that school and its trustees, they need to have a come to Jesus moment because, because they know. There's no question about it. They know what Robert E. Lee and the Confederate flag stands for and how dare a public school or any school bear the symbol of this flag, which was the flag of the institution of slavery. That's what it was about. I am sorry, there is no nice way of saying it other than saying it, it as it is. You know, Daniel Patrick Moynihan, whom I like to quote all the time, he said, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but you're not entitled to your own set of facts, okay? <laughs> what I have just said about the Confederate flag and slavery it's not my opinion only, but it's based on a set of demonstrable, empirical, historical facts. The flag of the Confederacy was the flag of the institution of slavery and the doctrine of white supremacy, period. And how dare someone want to defend the flying of that flag, aside from desecrating the 600,000 people who lost their lives. I mean, I, I mean, please, there is a, I mean, I mean, there is some element of decency and morality, all right? I know why this flag in South Carolina was taken down, because the people in South Carolina, in Charleston, and that state, they were overwhelmed by something they never thought they'd ever have to deal with. And that is the sense of forgiveness and grace on the part of the survivors of the victims, okay? In the face of the most horrific form of massacre, the people, the black people in the church said, we forgive you. Not all, now some people in the church said, we don't forgive you. But the fact of the matter is, it was so clear it was so clear that anybody who doesn't act like that in the, in the name of or in commemoration of the Confederate flag is saying they want to bring back or they want to celebrate the institution of slavery and white supremacy. And hello, we, that war was fought and lost, okay? I mean, this is 2015, get over it. Does that work for you? Okay. <laughs>